Hi everyone, my name is Mai Wen Zhang and my topic is graphing quantum dots and its application for supercapacitors. Supercapacitors are one of the most promising candidates for energy storage. They can be divided into electrochemical double layer capacitors, EDLC, or pseudo capacitors. The advantage are high power density and long cycle life. However, they are limited by low energy density. To solve this problem, the common strategy is to combine EDLC and pseudo-capacitor materials. In this project, I combine GQDs with magnesium cobalt oxide as hybrid electrode material. Graphene quantum dots are new zero-dimensional carbon material made up of a few items thick graphene. They contain abandoned functional groups and are highly dispersible in various solvents, which make them potential inducing agent during the material synthesis process. Firstly, I synthesize the GQD starting from citric acid, and then different amounts of GQDs are added into the precursors of metal oxide to form composite. SEM images of the product shows the resulting particles morphology changes based on the GQD's amount. The nano needles shape material is supposed to have highest surface area, while 80 GQDs has the most GQDs, so which perform better? In the GCD and EAS analysis, the nano needles shape composites demonstrated highest capacitance and lowest resistance. It is obvious that GQDs help to increase the active sites and the conductivity of the composite, and there is an optimal amount of GQDs that works best. The excessive GQDs will worsen the electrode capacitance. From the HRTM, GQDs are observed to homogeneously distributed to increase the conductivity and facilitate the diffusion. The full cell assembled using the nano needles shape materials with RGO achieves high capacitance and long cycle life. To, summar to summarize, we developed a superior method of using GQDs as inducing agent to precisely control the shape of metal oxide composite, and there is an optimal amount of GQDs that enables the best electrochemical performance. Thank you.